So we know in this newest season of Doctor Who that this woman has supposedly been following the Doctor and Ruby through their adventures in time and space. But who is she? Well, she first appeared in the episode Wild Blue Yonder and has since been in every 15th Doctor episode, which totals to seven appearances so far. These seven appearances are as Mrs. Merridew in Wild Blue Yonder, an audience member in the church on Ruby Road, one of the space station workers who left the space station in Space Babies, a tea lady in the Devil's Cord, the ambulance in Boom, a hiker in 73 Yards, and as Lindy Pepperbean's mother in Dot and Bubble. Up until Dot and Bubble, I think the general consensus was that these characters aren't actually different, she is just posing as them in these respective stories. Well, Dot and Bubble kind of messes that up, because in Dot and Bubble, she actually plays the protagonist's mother, meaning she would have been there for her whole young life. Now, a theory circulating around about the whole of season one is that it is all set within a TV show world. Whilst the show could go in many directions, I actually believe there's a case to be made that this is true, and that this theory could could actually have some weight and I have some ideas as to who Susan Twist could be so I don't think Susan Twist is playing a villain I feel like having a villain that is seen through multiple episodes throughout time is just it's already been done and I feel like RTD knows that and don't think he's going to rehash that instead if we go with this TV world theory I think that Susan Twist is actually a planted actor in each of these episodes a purposely reused face to try and tell the doctor he is not in the real world although some people theorize because of the name susan twist that the character susan twist is playing will be susan foreman i don't think that's the case i think that instead this woman is planted by susan from the real world into this fake world for those of you that don't know Susan Foreman is the Doctor's granddaughter. She was the first companion of the show back in 1963, so this is a long-awaited return. I think the name Susan Twist is given by Susan putting this person into the show reality. The reason I want to say this is the case rather than her actually being Susan is because I kind of want Caroline Ford to return. I don't want Susan to just return and be a different face. There's already many elements this season that almost direct you towards Susan Foreman's involvement, at least in some way. Like if you take Devil's Court, for example, that episode is set at the same time that an unearthly child is, making the Doctor obviously tell Ruby that he is there currently with his granddaughter. And Susan Foreman hasn't been referenced at all in the modern era and that kind of just felt out of place it felt like it was intentionally set in that time period we also know that later in the season susan twist will be playing a character called s triad and for those of you that have seen the serial an unearthly child you will know that susan is apparently the one that came up with the acronym tardis i made up tardis from the initials time and relative dimension in space and S Triad and TARDIS are acronyms of one another. And come on, there's a character called The One Who Waits. It's always gonna sound ominous like that, but Susan Foreman, she could be the one who waits. I mean, she's waited long enough, probably the longest out of any character to reunite with the Doctor. And I think that itself could be a great twist as I feel like everyone is naturally expecting that to be some big bad. We could even go a step further and say that the toy maker is the one creating this TV world maybe he didn't die in the giggle like we thought similar to how the trickster is in supernatural if you've seen he fakes his own death by using the trickery and the reality manipulation that he has and so why couldn't the toy maker fake his own death catch works using his own rules and games and so the ending of the giggle still makes sense but it does feel a little easy and you could always make an argument that it was too easy and that he actually is still alive and that he is now the one making the doctor's life a tv show i also feel like having neil patrick harris just for like a one-off villain like that just i feel like i feel like it's a waste I, I would love to see him back and him being the overall villain of the season would also make perfect sense because it would be a reoccurring villain to people who have only seen this new era and yet it would still be a recurring villain for people who have seen even back in the early seasons of the show so it would be an all-round perfect big bad for anyone who's watching many people believe this theory too because of the ordering episodes feeling weird like the devil's court having that massive time jump and then it never gets explain later i don't want to make a case here that that is proof of this being in a tv show but if it did that could always be an excuse they use for why the ordering just feels a bit jumbled going with the tv show theory there's worry that certain elements won't continue after the show like ruby might not actually exist outside the television show or the certain character development might not actually exist because of it certain events like by generation might not have ever existed because of it whereas if you had the toy maker be the one that caused it he manipulates reality and so although this reality would wouldn't have happened without him it would still happen once he's defeated properly this isn't necessarily a theory i definitely want to come true 
as to be honest i feel like the idea of doing this like tv inception style of series just might be wasted with this season there's definitely more they could have done and we've only got three episodes left now either way i'm sure i'll personally enjoy whichever direction they decide to take the season but I'm definitely expecting that reintroduction of Susan, for sure. And who knows, Verada Seitu's character might actually just be Susan regenerated, and that is why they will not tell us the character's name. Anyway, with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.